At a conference on hypnosis in 1899, a German psychiatrist made a bold claim to his audience that he turned a gay man straight. In his professional opinion, all it took was a few 45-minute hypnosis sessions and a few trips to a brothel where the gay man was told to have sex with a woman prostitute. His sad attempt to gain fame or professional promotion was the spark which ignited what we now know as conversion therapy. But back in those days, homosexuality was considered deviant, sinful, and even criminal for centuries. And that's why in the late 19th century, doctors began to try to address it. They labeled it as a medical term and even classified it as a disease in the American Psychiatric Association, which allowed them to do insane things to experiment a, quote, cure. For instance, Austrian doctors believed homosexuality was rooted in a man's testicles, so they were somehow allowed to experiment on this in the 1920s. They would take a gay man, castrate them, and transplant the testicles of a straight man into the gay man's scrotum. Others theorized that everyone was born innately bisexual, and homosexual people were just becoming gay because they chose that path. In their experiments to set gay men back on the right path, some LGBTQ people were given electroconvulsive therapy, where their bodies were literally shocked with electricity as they watched gay pornography. Other times, the doctors put electrodes directly on the subject's brain, or worse yet, they performed lobotomies on gay men. A lobotomy is the practice of literally removing a section of someone's brain, because researchers believed homosexuality was only present in one area of someone's brain. Their theory was that if they simply removed that section of their brain, it would turn their subject straight again. However, in their studies, they didn't have one section of the brain where they knew it was located, so they experimented by removing different sections from different people's brains until they found it. But of course, being gay is in your DNA throughout your whole body, so they never found this miracle section of the brain through thousands of experiments. Some other doctors thought they could scare LGBTQ people back to being straight, so they gave gay men chemicals, which made them vomit whenever they saw photos of their gay lovers, and researchers even hooked up the gay subject's genitals to electrical devices to shock them whenever they saw pictures of same-sex genitals. By 1973, gay rights activists finally won in the APA, reversing its idiotic notion that being gay was a mental illness. But this wasn't the end of conversion therapy. While doctors were no longer allowed to perform such experiments on gay people under the medical field, religious and self-proclaimed experts in the faith-based groups took over the practice of conversion therapy. While reports claim that all of these medical experiments are still happening in conversion therapy camps across the world, nowadays, gay conversion therapy camps mostly focus on isolating the subject and trying to pray the gay away. Many organizations psychologically and even sexually abuse subjects, and this leads to massive numbers of victims having actual mental health needs after attending such camps. Conversion therapy is still legally allowed and still going on in many countries around the world, including the United States. However, just this past year, Germany, the country which started it all, has now outlawed the practice altogether. And just in case you wanna get involved in ending conversion therapy once and for all, we're going to leave a link in the description so you can sign our petition to end conversion therapy around the United States. Anyway, that was our LGBTQ history fact of the day. Please join us in fighting for LGBTQ education in all schools by signing the petition linked below. While you're down there, consider supporting our show by checking out our Pride Academy student collection in our merchandise store. Don't forget to like this video, comment your LGBTQ friendly thoughts, hit that rainbow subscribe button so you don't miss out on new episodes of the show, and share this video with others. As always, I'm your host, Matt Haslam. This has been PBR. Thank you so much for watching and have a gay day, everyone. Watch Powered by Rainbows Season 3, only on MHP TV.